Beginning the new year on a sad note, residents of Paisley community are still in shock over the attack on their community by gunmen. We just had a con shot, and from that con shot, it was as if it was banker, but before he knew what, a news brought to us that some people were being kidnapped. So by we running to the sand, we discovered that some houses were being buckled. The gunmen were said to have stormed the community in large number at about one in the morning, forcing their ways into the homes of residents. So many of them busting and start beating my husband, start beating me, I entered the toilet, they dragged me and fling me to the bed, I was slapping and kicking my husband with leg that where is money? I say no money. There is no money, but I have a massaging machine. If you sell it, you can get money from it. Maybe you will take his seat and I brought it out. The nun took some of his shoes and his clothes. And then that was how they dragged him outside, leaving no name inside the house. All the address and everything was black. This black, uh, this thing, everything was just black. Four men were abducted from the community according to residents of the area. Yesterday night, they called me. From there, I talked to my husband. I spoke to the man too. The man told me, say, they wanted money. I said to her, how much be the money? He said, 100 million. Two of the men abducted have pregnant wives who said they were allowed to go. They wanted to take us all to the bush. And on the process of doing that, an argument came. Some said, leave her. Some said, let her go, come with us. So finally, they came to a conclusion that they should let me go. And that was how they took my husband. Among the abductees are also two members of a branch of the Four Square Gospel Church in the community. And the church is interceding on their behalf. <laughs> We cannot do anything than to pray. Because the situation is beyond our control. It's God that can help us. And that's why we are seeking the face of God. Pay is a community located in Kubwa Satellite Town in Buari Era Council of the Federal Capital Territory is faced with infrastructural challenges, including the lack of good motorable road. The situation is worsened by the absence of a police post in the community as the people rely on the Biagin police station whenever there is a security challenge. The police are yet to confirm the incident after over 48 hours. The visible absence of security presence in Paisley community makes it vulnerable to any kind of attack. And as the people hope for the release of those that have been abducted, they say this should be a wake-up call to the government and the concerned authorities to have at least a police outpost established in the community. From Peze Community in Buari Area Council of the Federal Capital Territory, Emperor Simon, Channels Television News.